Today we're going to discuss the findings of congestive heart failure. This is a chest x-ray on a patient who is at baseline. There is no uh, clinical symptoms of pulmonary edema such as shortness of breath, paroxysmal maternal dyspnea, or evidence of congestive heart failure. We see that the heart size is normal, the pulmonary vessels are sharply marginated, and that they are normal in caliber. Notice the costophrenic angles, the sulci are sharp, and we do not see any curly V lines. These findings indicate that this is a normal chest x-ray without evidence for congestive heart failure. He returns to us now with shortness of breath and pedal edema. And we notice first that the heart has markedly increased in size since a prior study. If you look carefully, we could even see that the left atrium, which is this opacity sitting under the carina, is enlarged. Of particular interest, I think, is the caliber of the upper lobe vessels. We call this vascular redistribution or cephalization. There is distension of the pulmonary veins uh, due to the engorgement from increased left-sided pressures. So we see that the heart has become dilated, the left atrium has become dilated, the pulmonary veins have become dilated. They are greater in caliber than the vessels at the bases. Now let's take a look at the costophrenic sulci. We can see here that it's blunted. This lung should go all the way to the edge. Instead, we see that there's development of pleural fluid. Look at this area here. This is a really nice example of curly B lines, which represent thickened interlobular septa due to edema. In addition, notice how blurred and indistinct the pulmonary vasculature is. This is indicative of interstitial pulmonary edema. So the findings here are those of congestive heart failure, which confirm the clinical impression.